What's good, YT? It's Platinum. I'm coming to share with you what's for dinner tonight. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by saying I hope everyone is having a blessed day. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I so appreciate it. And of course, my riders. Y'all already know I got mad love for y'all. But without further ado, let me show you what's on the menu. Um had two bags of oxtails. I don't remember the pound per each, but I cleaned them with vinegar, just rinsed them off, and in a um, skillet, I put heat the skillet with a little canola oil, not nothing too heavy, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan, and I used this browning seasoning sauce and what what I did was I coated every side of each oxtail I am not a professional I am no way by means Jamaican but I have a passion for cooking I love to cook so I'm just sharing with you all my version of doing this um, if you want to see another version you can go to matter of fact I will attach it to this video there will be a link below in a link below in the description bar with another video video of mine of oxtails. Um, let's see. And after that, I incorporated all the oxtails into the slow cooker, and I cooked them on low. I put these on probably like what time? Man, boy, someone's on the phone. I put them on probably like 11.30 last night, and I seasoned them with, I incorporated a whole onion in here for flavor. Um, I used minced garlic. I also used thyme. I also used a little paprika, um, and I used the Grace Oxtail Seasoning. Now, a seasoning that I did not have that I always love to cook with oxtails is Greek seasoning and I'm almost positive that seasoning will be attached and will be in the video that I'm going to attach okay so um, what else did I put in here so I stared it throughout I know I'm missing other seasonings because if you all watch my videos I'm big on seasoning I hate boring food I love sexy food me and sexy taste good look good um, so I cooked it when I got up this morning I put in two cans of these removed the liquid and diced them into four quarters and I also incorporated two cans of large butter beans, um, probably by two cups of carrots. Now I'm going to show you, if I can get my spoon here. I apologize for the sakiness of the video, guys, but I'm working with my hands, so bear with me. Now you see all that excess fat? That will make a marvelous, marvelous gravy. I like my oxtails till they're falling out the bone. Just my personal preference. You don't have to do yours yourself. Now what I'm going to do is take this measuring cup and just push it down. And you'll see the oil, the excess oil going there. And that's nothing but some good seasoning right there, baby. Trust me when I tell you. And I'm going to pour it in the pan that I have beside me. You want to go to different spots of the slow cooker. And as you see in the bottom, it's like kind of already formed its own little gravy there. And I don't want too much of fat, so I'm, this is what I'm doing. I'm just... Okay, bubble, just getting as um, much excess liquid off as possible. Okay, Gabby, y'all know I couldn't do no video. She got to get her shine on. Hold on, bubble, Nana's coming. I removed all the bones out of it and as you can see I added a little 
Donna. Hi, Gabby. Hi. Hi, Nina's Donut. I removed all the bones from out of it. And like I said, I am going to pair this up. This girl just knocked her mama's nail polish over. That's what that noise was. I'm going to pair it up with some cornbread and maybe some brown rice for the next couple of days. So I pretty much got as much as that fat off as I want. And I'm going to show you guys. You see the carrots, the potatoes, and the butter bean. And you see this bone? Um, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to remove all the bones off because some of it, the majority of it still has, is still in the bone. <laughs> See, this one is still in the bone, but, um, anyway, of course, um, I also soaked some black eyed peas overnight. And this morning, I rinsed them off, and I put a half an onion in there. And I took a couple, oh, I forgot I added bay leaf to the um, oxtail, so I didn't say that. And when you're cooking with bay leaf, please remember to always remove them, because it's not a good taste to bite into them and see. And this is what my um, beans look like. And... I use the bone pretty much just for seasoning. Bone has a lot of seasoning and flavor. And I put in, um, what seasoning did I use with the black eyed peas? Y'all gotta excuse me, I got a headache, so my memory right now is not the best as it typically is not. But you can see. And I didn't necessarily make this to go with this meal because this meal has beans in it already. I made that to eat for like the past couple, next couple of days with cornbread. Walked to the corner store. For y'all don't know what a corner store is, this is basically a convenience store in your hood, in your neighborhood, that buys, that sells products for more money than it typically would find at the grocery store or grocery chain in your neighborhood. And this is the pan with the excess fat in it. And that would make a good, good um, marinade or seasoning. Um, let me put this top back on. Let's see. Now over here, I have that excess oil, the excess fat. What I did was cut up some onions and I sauteed them on low for a good 15-20 minutes and I wanted them nice and big like that like so that's how I wanted them I love onions like that I'm trying to take the glare off there we go let me see if I turn the light off would it help nope it just went totally, totally black on you guys but um there we go and I put a little the um gray seasoning in here as well a little soy sauce black pepper I have salad over here and inside the salad is just your basic bag salad and I incorporated some cucumbers and diced up tomatoes and I'm not going to season the salad because the oxtails has enough of its own so that's basically the side so I'm going to plate and let you guys see what the final presentation would look like sorry guys I know this video is like a mess but I have a little bit right here cornbread and I 
I should have had a spoon with no holes on it. That would have been much better. There we go. Some carrots. Love, love carrots. Okay. Back up some. Just get a little bit more upstairs. Alright, now I am going to add my gravy. It is raining out here. I know y'all probably like this a meal for the summer or the spring. Typically this is something, you know, special occasion or a hearty meal to warm their body up. And there you go. And I will put a little salad on the side. And I will not incorporate any dressing on the salad. The salad would be just eaten plain like so. Okay. And just take a little... And I'm using countryside, zero trans fat, zero calorie butter. Can't believe it's not butter. I love this, but I went to all these and that's what they had. So that's what I got. All right, ladies and gentlemen, because I know my Def Jam loves my cooking videos. And he's been with me for a great, great while. He's following me on Instagram. So that's the final presentation. Um... Also, I would recommend eating this with white rice if you're going to make it like a stew as I did. But if you're just making like oxtails, I would go with rice and beans combined together. But as always, y'all already know what it is. Keep it sexy.